Hey kids, it's Dean from Crypto the Wonder Dog Show. Today's show is sponsored by MyBookie.ag. You guys like to roll the bones? You get you uh, you're a card counter? You you a uh, Rain Man kind of guy? Okay, well I'll tell you what, uh, our buddies over at MyBookie.ag they have created one of the best online gaming sites I have ever seen. Not only can you play there, you can also use your Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash. And Litecoin. The payouts are fast and totally anonymous with crypto. Go check them out today. Crypto, crypto. Go check them out today at mybookie.ag. Use Wonderdog for your 50% bonus when you make your first deposit. If you want to experience Las Vegas style sports booking, gambling from the comfort of your living room, mybookie.ag is the only place you'll want to check out. They offer pretty much every sport in the league. Uh, and in the world, including esports and League of Legends and Counter Strike. In addition, if you're into casino gaming like uh, table table games, blackjack, roulette, craps, or slots, if you just have way too much money and you want to put it back into the house, give it to the people in Las Vegas at their slot machines. But not not on MyBookie.ag. Their slots are the loosest on the web, on the blockchain. Uh, my bookie J A G has it all. Okay. Uh, if you like, uh, if you like slots, if you like giving money back to casinos, play slots. Uh, if you want to keep some money, uh, uh, if you like playing slot machines, if you like giving your money back to the house, go ahead and play your slots in Vegas. Uh, you want to, you want a better, better than that. You want a better chance of uh, winning some money. Play the. Play the slot machine on uh, mybookie.ag. They have it all. So not to mention, you can play all their games on your cell phone, your iPhone, your iPad, your tablet, your computer. It's entirely up to you. You can literally play from anywhere as long as you have a connection. And sometimes it's spotty. Uh, Anyway, visit Las Vegas from your couch and try them out today. Once again, that's mybookie.ag. And using promo code WONDERDOG. Get you a 50% bonus on your first deposit. Okay. Today's show, we had Roman Trask, uh, Roman. We had Roman. We had a guy named Roman with a, with a really crazy last name from Wisebit. They are, uh, if you're, if you're, if you're scared about your data being out there on the web, if uh, you're not a big fan of the Facebook people who have taken your data and sold it, shame on those people. Uh, if you have an Alexa, which I just got, check this out. Alexa, what time is it? It's 4.07 p.m. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so <laughs> I just did that. Now everyone at Amazon knows that I just asked Alexa what time it is. So uh, if you don't like that happening, if you, don't, if you want to keep on your, if you want to keep, uh, your, your grips on your own data, um, that's what uh, Wisebit has done, and these guys, Roman, and he went through it step by step. And they also have uh, they have their own version of an Alexa coming out that does not sell your data, does not give it away, it keeps you it keeps it in your little mitts, and keeps it in the cloud. And talk about security with uh, your data. Um, imagine taking taking a uh, taking a document, throw it into a blender, watching it just go to shreds, go to town. Um, how hard would it be to put that sucker back together? Well, these guys, they do the same thing, but they are able to take your data, chop it up into little bitty tiny pieces, put it back together whenever you want it, not when anybody else wants it. Uh, you, want, you want security um, with your data, the guys at Wisebit are the ones, they are the way, they are the future. Um, so uh, it's, it's cool. I went down to, uh, met a buddy of mine, and uh, he turned me on to these guys, uh, which is crazy because they're here in Southern California where I am. And I went down, drove, drove down, took my little studio with me, talked with them. Uh, they had their own little crypto wonder dog there. Um, little puppy, well, no, little puppy, it was a gigantic puppy. I was introduced to Roman by my friend Morgan, and we sat down. We had a great conversation. It was a wonderful day down by the beach. And here it is. You guys ready to start the show? All right, let's start the show. Okay, so we are with, uh, with 
Roman. And uh, you guys have, have uh, cruising out here in Southern California. How'd you, how'd you get out here? Oh, uh, basically, I'm traveling a lot from from Europe. Uh, I live in many different countries like Germany, Spain, Ukraine, Poland, uh, now in US. And I'm also always hunting for smart, talented people and people who in machine learning space, in AI space, people who are building IoT devices, security encryption. And I think in uh, California, it's, you can find the best talented people here to exchange your experience. Really? You found, you found a, lot of, a lot of talented people here in California? Uh, yeah, always like uh, like Silicon Valley, it's everything. And it's like best people coming from, their, from really? the globe here Yeah, to exchange the information, to share. Like I'm visiting a lot of meetings, a lot of like educational institutions just to train and learn always. Uh, New technologies, what's going new, what's going new in the cyberspace, in the encryption space, in the how you can build like a different, take a different approach to build and manage the software. Okay, and and you, so you went up to San Francisco, you went up to, to Silicon Valley? Uh, yeah, I was there too, but now I'm kind of, next month I'm going to be back to Europe, uh, because in Europe we have a machine learning lab, they have right now up to five, I think, PhD professors helping me with our technology to build something unique. So we basically assemble uh, super talented and super experienced people um, to build something never was built wow. before. Yeah. yeah right. And our idea is what we're trying to accomplish because we, we're building uh, software, hardware, and blockchain. So we have uh, three components. We, we're trying to make them working together. Wow. And it's not easy task, right? So you, you're making hardware, software, and the blockchain. And the blockchain. So we already built our blockchain. So we already passed that phrase. It took us uh, some time, but the way how we build it, um, uh, we using sharding technology. So like imagine when data. Uh, not coming from one space. It's not like a, all like a blockchain. First of all, it's a decentralized uh, solution for people, right? Everybody can participate. But the problem is the blockchain is it's a latency issues, confirmation issues. So you can wait for transaction from five minutes to thirty minutes. Like if network is super slow, you can wait even a couple hours. Oh wow! Right, <laughs> and uh, in our case, it's not acceptable. So that's why we decide to build our own blockchain. And our own blockchain, it's living on the clouds. In a, so we create nodes in the clouds. Oh. And then data come into one block, and this block shards this data to many pieces. And this uh, data living on thousand machines. Nobody knows them, nobody can track them. It's fully anonymous, and uh, they have own communication protocols, they know each other. And then you have your private key, which can pull these pieces, bytes, and bits back together, back to your machine. And I know that when you when you build a blockchain, you have to build it on something else, right? That's exactly. Uh, we didn't use any any uh, blockchain uh, kind of framework, so we built our own framework, and we're using Go language, Node.js. Um, you built your own language? Uh, no, not own language. We built a language called Go. Go. Okay. So it's like a server language. It's okay. how you can manage and... Um, control their like a servers, clouds. So it's like a server language protocol. And you do that just like on, on, on your laptop? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Seriously? Yeah, you can do like all our developers. Like right now, we have uh, about 12 developers only building our blockchain. Like best, best. It took me like a couple months to put this team together. And a couple uh, months to put the team together? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because you need to make sure you have people with a senior level. Uh, you cannot um, hire somebody like a junior who trying to learn. So you need to find people. And to find those people who know how to build blockchain, it's not easy because it's not many people yet. And it's um, kind of Yeah, this technology. is so brand new. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so every, everyone's a junior. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but somehow I found like, a, I put like a good team together. So it's people who already built a blockchain, people who already work on Azure blockchain, with Microsoft, who knows how to rebuild and how to re-engineer and come up with a better solution. Wow. Okay. And so the, the, the project that you're working on right now is called? 
a wise bet. Wise bet. Exactly. So, and, we and how, do you, how do you spell that? So it's W I Z E and B I T. And that dot I O or dot com or uh, dot com dot com. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, what 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 was uh, what was the inspiration behind developing this to begin with? Oh, um, I don't know if like um, if you've been hacked in your life, but I've been hacked a couple of times. Yeah. And uh, my email, especially with Yahoo, was like a huge bridge a couple of oh, years yeah, ago. Oh, yeah, I get people from Google all the time send me, hey, I'm, stu <laughs> I'm stuck in, in Europe and I have no money. Please send me money to this address. Exactly. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like this, like uh, last year was like three point, I think, trillion was uh, money was gone. So it's in the cyberspace. Oh, it's my like, God. Yeah, it's, it's a crazy numbers. Um, and the whole idea of what we're trying to build, we're trying to build like a... A uh, unique hub which can contain your information and can be your also personal assistant. Uh, personal assistant. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, kind of like Alexa, let's say, right? Okay. Or, or okay, Google. Uh, but and I, I just bought an Alexa yesterday. Okay, that's that's good. But then, like you, basically, <laughs> every time you have like those devices, they can share your information. So you become a part of the big data because they analyzing what you say. And they can hear you yeah. talking, right? Exactly. And they're recording that somewhere, obviously. Yeah, because they need to analyze the data. Yeah. So, but what we're trying to build, we're trying to build what's happening in your home, gonna stay in your home. So, we're oh, building a different. It's like Vegas, approach. what happens in Vegas, too. Exactly. Yeah. That's a whole idea. So, we're building a device uh, which is gonna protect your privacy and also gonna protect your data. So, and plus, that's why we're using blockchain to make that stuff like super super kind of cyber uh, protected and in same time intelligent. So let's say um, if you're gonna ask Alexa, let's say, hey Alexa, what's the Bitcoin price or what should I buy, right? What kind of answer are you gonna get? I don't know that. So it's not follow up. But what we're trying to build, we're trying to build like a, a system which is gonna call Luna and if you're going to say, hey, Luna, can I buy this coin? And if she doesn't know that, she's going to say, I don't know that, but I can submit this request to community. Do you want me to do that? Oh, really? So wow. you can create your uh, kind of own comments. <coughs> and uh, this is like a more unique way. And everybody can be like everyone can be part hmm. to building this AI. Yeah. So you can build your uh, skills. So you can say, okay, I am good in those field, and uh, be building like a super nice uh, platform so people can exchange those skills. And let's say you, you're good in that skills, and I can download your skill sets to my assistant. So Really? Yeah. So people can, it's all about collaboration. Like, uh, because like big companies are trying to hold everything. It's like a paramount like uh, approach. So it's like a uh, vertical, right? Mm -hmm. But we trying to uh, make community involved. So everybody part of building AI. So imagine if Amazon give access to everybody and everybody can uh, build like uh, exchange information. So it's gonna be speed up the whole process. But for them, it's probably not a good idea because they're trying to monetize. They try to keep that stuff. It's super secret. Yeah, but they do. We trying to go like open source. So everything for us. So we are in control how our AI is going to be super intelligent, how our AI can be super uh, smart. And um, the way also how they approaching this, so they train in machines to get information from us and analyze that information. But what we're doing, we are training machines what kind of requests they supposed to do. So it's like a totally like opposite way. So, so it, you're training uh, an assistant just for you, not for anybody else, just for exactly. you. Exactly. And then yeah. you can share it, your skills with the community if you want to. Yeah. But everything is stay anonymous. So nobody's going to know who this user, who this guy is. So it's like an all encryption language. So um, kind of like Monero style. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And, and you guys, uh, uh, you, you tokenize this? Yeah. Yeah. We are right now. Uh, <laughs> Trying to um, like right now, if we are in a private sale, which we just done yesterday. Oh, we started um, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Our private sale, but our ICO is going to be in July. Okay. So, like, but more information people can find it in our white papers. Um, and, and they go to wisebit.com, yeah. right? W I S E. Yep. Yeah. Uh, w I Z. W I Z E B I T.com. Yeah. 
and they can find the white papers, they can find the way to, to get a hold of you guys. Yeah, um, uh, everything like technical paper, we have uh, GitHub, so they can even check our blockchain, they can check our blog. Oh, they can see your blockchain? Yeah, yeah, they can wow. even uh, run, install, and play with that. So, get out, they can already look yeah. at it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, we already, like, we all about transparency, we all about community, we all about, like, open source. So uh, it's all about us, right? So you, you don't want to build something and monetize that stuff. We want to build something to give people tool they can be a part of everything. Yeah, be a part of it. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, and you guys are creating um, the hardware that goes along with this, right? Exactly. So uh, what, what, what is that? Uh, uh, so let's say by 2022, 20, it's going to be over 23 billion. IoT devices connected, and so let's say uh, smart devices and IoT space is super unique and it's super fresh, and everybody have security issues. How let's say if you have a baby monitor system, and you using different protocol like Zigbee, Zway, like all others, right? And they not like a super protected. So let's say if somebody can exploit your information, they can break your Wi-Fi, and they can watch everything that's going on in your home. Wow. If you are target, but uh, the way how we building so imagine this this hub wise box become a private key, and this private key controlling all your smart devices in your home through the public key. So each your device gonna be have a public key protocol. Okay. So they mm -hmm. communicate on a different kind of. Um, Encryption level, so you cannot name it if you have indoor camera, outdoor camera. So they all communicate it through their own protocol, through the blockchain. And this is more unique way, and this is more safe way to manage all your devices from one hub. And then this hub can also be your private server, uh, because it's going to contain uh, SSD drive. Oh, so okay. your information, so you don't need to pay any more uh, like 40, 50 bucks monthly for video, right? Because some, you need to store your video from cameras somewhere in the cloud, so you need to pay for space and et cetera. Yeah. In our case, you don't need to pay. So because you already have your data and you're sharing with other devices. So all devices, they create a network. Wow. They take in each piece. So let's say you, your device can contain information of other people, but you, you cannot even open and see it because it's encrypted. Yeah. Right. So, but they also can help you become like a um, neural network so they can cal calculate. So let's say if you want to do some calculation or run some lighting uh, mode, so to calculate how much you can save or how much it's going to be, so they can all can come together and help you to calculate this data so they can share their sources, their uh, GPU power, right? So they can be a part of um, own global cool cool network. And the way, the way how they're going to work, they're going to exchange their information. So let's say somebody program uh, your, your home and you're saving 40% on lights, right? And you can submit this information to community the way how you did it. So all other boxes are going to communicate to each other. So oh, they're so learning they, each yeah, other. Yeah, so if they're going, hey, this is the better way to save money. Exactly. Wow. And uh, money and plus is going to mine as well. So It's going to what? Mining. So we're going to have mining capability. Mining capabilities. Exactly. So this oh. box can also give you, make some um, extra cash, right? Get out. Yeah. Wow. So you can have this little machine and it'll start earning money for you. Exactly. Oh, dude, that's great. Offline. So you don't need to do nothing. You just, you plug, we pay. Um, and um, you can even share your data. You can do some uh, mining for like hash, hash power mining. Okay. You, later on, we're thinking even to support other currency, but for now, like first release, we're going to do only for, uh, for WISE token. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So, um, how did you get hooked up with these guys over here? I mean, you're you're from where? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah, I'm from. How did Ukraine. you end up out here? Oh, uh, I was we're, we're in San Clemente, California. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. beach community, not quite what you think of when you think of people from Ukraine. You're like, uh, exactly. But like, um, like today I'm here. Like tomorrow, I'm gonna be some somewhere else. I, I love to travel. I love to um, explore. I love to meet like new people and. Yeah. Um, 
And I love this place because this place is kind of uh, nice and chill, and it's super have nice community here, super quiet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, that's why everyone wants to live here because it's yeah, like, yeah, exactly. It's like great. I'm enjoying the weather because right now in in Europe it's kind of cold. Snowing. Yeah, no, not 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 anymore. It's getting better. Uh, but definitely, I, I love California. Like, yeah. it's kind of uh, you. Your my, my a lot of ideas come from here, honestly. Uh, yeah. Because like I met a couple of people, they um, they kind of generate, they they push you to make something. They even give you advice. They don't charge you for that. They kind of oh let's do let's do this. So let's see what I have. So we always like I always collaborate with with developers what they yeah. can do. Oh wow! And so you you were part you went up to Silicon Valley too, right? Uh, yeah, in previous, like uh, like before that, I was working in Chicago for one company called Single Hub, and it's a data center company. And we develop um, AI to manage uh, servers. So let's say like a data center can have up to like uh, 20, 20 50,000 servers, right? And you need to have uh, scripts, and you need to have AI which can manage and monitor failures, uh, DOS attacks, updates, patches. So I was a part of the team, and I was only one engineer uh, to building this AI. And it's like opened my mind how I can re even re-engineer a blockchain. So that's why I took a little bit different approach uh, from my past experience. Uh, because all my life, I was kind of dealing with the data, with the data centers, with yeah. different like um, protocols and managing stuff. So I have that background. That's kind of my specialty. But before that, like uh, in 2000, I think 2004, I also was building um, medical devices. So I was part in the team. So I have kind of product experience so build actually actually building de devices de yeah wow. yeah so but um it was a long time ago i remember like my i did build the first website 1996 96 <laughs> yeah wow in ukraine so, in ukraine <laughs> in the windows 95 and it was i don't remember version of photoshop i used that time but it was like a good time and and you know like Technology changing every 18 months, something new show up, right? Yeah. Like new language, uh, new software, new solution. And the speed, what we did for the last 25 years, it's incredible. Oh, and yeah. I cannot even imagine what's going to be like in other 25 years. It's probably AI yeah, going to take the world and take uh, everything. Humans going to be probably chilling and every like machine's going to be working, but maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the past, what we took, we took like, hey, let's build something for uh, for my family because I have a son, and I want to my like even when I'm traveling, so I want my family to be safe. So the whole idea to, to build something cool and super encrypted, so nobody else can hack it, nobody else can uh, uh, exploit. Yeah, and you can watch everything. You can set up like a nice alarm system, nice notification system. You can see what's happening. And we also trying to bring uh, machine learning process just to so let's say if imagine this so let's say you have a outdoor camera right yeah so right now like how outdoor cameras work so somebody needs to sit and watch what's going on by your home right but imagine if you add to outdoor camera an algorithm which can learn uh, our body behavior so let's say if somebody is staying by your place over two minutes not moving observing. This camera gonna start learning this person, like his body language. Why he's taking so long, why he's looking so long, it's gonna let you know before he's gonna do something, you're already gonna have a track. No so it's way. gonna track him. Wow. That's what we're trying to build. So we're trying to put in that box the whole machine learning process. So it's gonna track everything. It's gonna tr try to track his face, take a snap, like a snap. Maybe it's your friend. Yeah. And it's gonna be uh gonna send you a picture or is your friend uh coming to your place yeah surprise but you already know <laughs> surprise right <laughs> so um this is um we have like um uh, one professor uh peter morgan from uh, from london um he's like have a deep uh, machine learning lab and we have one more guy in the Mexico who also have deep machine learning lab. So we're trying to collaborate and exchange all this information, how we can put 
all AI, all machine learning in one small box, you know, with wow. the mining capability. Yeah. And um, we already, uh, like I told you, we already have our blockchain, uh, which everybody can test it. But like uh, in a week, I think in a two weeks from now, we already have our first working prototype coming. Really? Yeah. So that's what I'm like really exciting. Uh, because we spend so much time, so much money, and it's been self-funded. Yeah. Um, like I didn't like I have we have some offers from people, but uh, I didn't want to take the time, so I decided okay, I need to make sure this stuff gonna work first before we are gonna go to you know our, our investor round. Oh yeah, so, yeah. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. And so you met up with with this guy here. Yeah, like uh, I met like a lot of a lot of a lot of people uh, yeah. in California, uh, like crazy crazy developers, crazy cyber uh, people who are all about security. So they training me is a um, give me tips how yeah. we, we can make it better. How did how did you guys how did you guys meet up? I mean. Oh, it's like through many friends because I'm helping with uh, other project. I have like currently like uh, five other projects I'm part of. <laughs> wow. So when you're dealing with people and helping other people with their platform, like you meeting new people, that's yeah. how our life uh, basically working, right? Yeah. And um, every, everyone that I've met in, in, uh, in blockchain and, and crypto and whatever, everyone's so nice. Mm-hmm. I haven't met a jackass yet. You know that? Yeah. Like everyone that I meet is super nice. <laughs> yeah, because you know why? Maybe because it's like so new technology. Nobody wants to be kind of uh, that kind of person. But um, our case, like in a blockchain, it's true. Like all people, they they all about communities. They try to share information. They try to tell all oh, you need to invest in that project because oh, those guy building this or those guys building that. So yeah. those guys trying to decentralize like a data center. They, those, so it's like always something's going on. And it's like a new wave of uh, new era of technology and blockchain kind of pushing everything. Um, like everything's supposed to be decentralized. Everything yeah. is supposed to be, everybody needs to be part of that. Yeah. Like um, you, you just want to cut the middleman. That's what blockchain is all about. Exactly, yeah. You don't want to pay somebody else to, to get, get straight from A to, A to Z, you know. Exactly, exactly. So that's why we're trying to build this device so to cut like all that middleman. So you don't need to pay for video. You don't need to pay for something else. So yeah. like this box can do whatever that's crazy. You, your, your needs. Yeah. Wow, well, I can't wait for it. Um, so how, how did you, what was the first time that you, you heard about Bitcoin? Like what was that, what was your introduction to that? Um, first time, I think it was four years ago. Really? Yeah. And like... Um, well, you were already in technology? Were you already? I already, I was like always in technology, but in not a blockchain because that time it was kind of underground. Yeah. Mostly uh, not many people knew exactly what's happening. And, uh, but I have uh, my friends, they've been like for, for a while that was mining Bitcoins that time. When Bitcoin they were already was, mining yeah, Bitcoins. Like 30 bucks, 100 bucks in 2013. I remember Bitcoin hit 100, uh, five bucks or something. Yeah, so they was already at that time. But I think it's never late, you know, to jump to crypto and support yeah. good projects. Yeah, you absolutely. just need to do like your research. You just need to make sure that this is team legit and see what the philosophy and vision and what news they're trying to bring. Yeah. Because it's also a lot of bad people. They're trying to take advantage uh-huh. uh, also. So of people the new people to be coming super in. Careful. Yeah. yeah, you need to be always careful what you're investing and what, you, what you're trying to support. Yeah. Absolutely, um, and uh, so we're we're looking at about what an eight thousand dollar Bitcoin today, somewhere in that area. Yeah, but it was twenty almost, right? Yeah, yeah, it was almost twenty. <laughs> so, so you tell tell me on December thirty first, two thousand eighteen, what what's the price of Bitcoin? Uh, December, I think it was eighteen something. No, no, no. This this coming December. Oh, this time. This coming December, December thirty first. Oh, like what? What do you think my projection? Yeah. What do you oh, What do you think it's going to be? Uh, hmm. I think it's going to be about forty, about forty thousand. Forty thousand. Mm-hmm. What What's going to make it? What What's What's it going to take to make a forty thousand dollar Bitcoin? Um. I'm not like a crazy analytic like other people probably do, but from kind of my past experience, the way how the trend is going and the way how many people 
uh, learning. So it's like daily, it's probably uh, up to six, seven million new people jumping. So they're trying to learn how they can invest. Yeah. Then you need to find the platform and Bitcoin is the first entry point. That's what that's the one that everybody hears about. Exactly. Yeah. So after you buy Bitcoin, then you're gonna buy Ethereum, Litecoin, other projects, and then you're gonna go to alts. But Bitcoin is driving everything. So yeah. Bitcoin is a daddy. So it's like an old uh, trusted yeah. coin because it's the first one. And the unique of the Bitcoin is um, because it's have so much support right now, uh, has so big community around, a lot of news. Yeah. I know it's a lot of happening right now, a lot of regulation, which is good. So because uh, government and other people, they're trying to stop like a fraud, they're trying to stop like um, all this ICO route, they need to do KYC and et cetera. But um, also when people, uh, trying to advertise other technologies, right? Like uh, like any new one, even our technology. We always having mentioning Bitcoin yeah. because we respect that. And I think Bitcoin been adopted to many companies right now, like a Stripe, one of the kind of one of the biggest com company uh, which can take payments, and they already have integration with Bitcoin. Wow! Uh, I think Dash uh, network also. Really? Accepting Bitcoin, then we have um, uh, what is company? A couple more company. I think the more people gonna accept Bitcoin, this is gonna drive price up. Yeah, and it's happening like super fast right now. It's super low. It's a good time probably to invest. It is. Uh, but I think it is. It's gonna go. It's gonna build. So it's getting momentum. It's getting good support. Yeah. And it's gonna go up. I think when it's gonna break 20, 20 thousand, so the next jump is gonna be around forty. Wow, that's my prediction. So we'll see, we'll see how it's gonna go. But yeah. I hope it's gonna be forty, maybe more. You've got Bitcoin? Uh, yeah, yeah. Right well, on. You have to have right <laughs> when you're in the crypto. It's that's you need to like to start to believe in the blockchain. You need to buy Bitcoin. Yeah, you do. Huh? You have to, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right yeah. on. Uh, so what what other projects you got going on besides the the wise? Wise, but uh, so our uh, first project which we're gonna launch uh, gonna be uh, Ghost Drive. Ghost Drive. Exactly. So okay. this project it's very kind of unique and cool. So imagine when you have a Dropbox. Yeah. Um, but this Dropbox gonna have like a super crazy encryption language and break your data and store your data and hide your data. And it's fully anonymous. It's no username like uh, email. It's no passwords. It's a different access point. So is this a, we're building like a three layer access point, first of all. Wow. And, and then when you get inside, the way how we build, we have a start block and we have a merge block. So right now, how our data, so let's say when you're uploading anything to a cloud, so your data living in a central space, so your image going to be stored somewhere, right? In one place. My, my image, okay. Exactly, but right. if somebody going to know the pass or your username for, or know, like your email, they can get access to your data. Yeah. Because it's not like a truly protected. Yeah. Right, so if somebody hack your email, they can get access to all the information to your Google Drive, yep. everything. So they can download some of your videos, some of your private information, which you don't want to share with everybody. No, you don't. Oh. And uh, people also trying to save like this kind of information on the external drive, you know, like offline. So you're trying to keep somewhere, but what happened if you lost or something, right? It's also not a good solution. But what we come up with, so imagine when you're uploading this file to this ghost drive software, we decentralize this file. We, this file is going to be living everywhere. But nobody, it's no names. It's not living in one location. It's living on thousand machines. And, no, and every machine have a piece of that file. They don't have a whole, whole file together. And then you have your special key. You can even create like a multi-layer access point. So let's say to open this file, you need to have a private key. You need to have uh, 2FA. You need to add a pin, pin number. So you can go like a super advanced oh with the cryptology wow. the way how you want it to. And this file, not checkable. It's not traceable. It's living everywhere. It's not exist in the same time. 
<laughs> and then you put like your key back <laughs> yeah. and merge block collecting all this information, kind of torrent style. You know how torrent work, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like P2P. But uh, our case, it's a more different language. It's a different approach. And this is kind of super exciting like software which we're going to present probably in May, in May 15. So we're going to have, we already have a working demo. We okay. already have working prototype. It's already running a couple nodes. But by May 15, it's going to be, it's going to be excited, so um, and we don't going to do any kind of ICO rounds. So it's going to be we're going to do probably coin um, and do airdrops, so everybody can try it, yeah. test it, and um, wow. see how that goes. But definitely, I will look for community support. I will I'm yeah. going to look like um, for uh, security bugs. So we're just going to try to make it more secure. So we're going to need more power, more developers. Yeah. But first of all, we're going to show them what, how, what we build, how stuff works, and we're going to put some technical language. Um, and if somebody want to join our GitHub, so they will be able to play with this. How do they get hold of you? Um, on um, GitHub slash Wisebet. So okay. all our information. So if they're on Wisebet, they can, they can get yeah, a hold of yeah, this? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yep. Uh, or uh, you can also um, hold by our email, like uh, like if the people want to do me directly, Roman and Wisebet dot com. So okay. they can ask me any 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 question. On my LinkedIn profile, I have so many uh, activity right now. It's hard for me to answer everybody. Yeah. But uh, when I have a minute and free time, so I always go in and reply to people, and uh, so to see what's going on. And uh, we also gonna put. We already have a website called ghostdrive.io. Ghostdrive.io. Yeah. Okay. So the more information gonna be uh, coming soon. Right now it's like landing page. Okay. But we're gonna update in a couple of weeks. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Are you guys going to a, to a show or something? Are you guys going to like an event? Uh, you know, like I've like. Uh, is that what is that what May fifteenth is? No. Uh, no? Okay. It's kind of up, like our plan. Uh, release day, like a beta oh, release okay. day. All so, right. like I like, we usually put like an hour deadline for ourselves to meet our sure. uh, goals and our expectation. Then we need to see what the feedback, what people are thinking, maybe to change design or add something new features, uh, share the experience, and then make a second version. So, yeah. I think by July we're gonna have like a first, probably uh, first release by that time. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, I, I, I want to get involved with that because I, I, uh, I work with people that have a horrible time using Dropbox. And if it's easier to use than Dropbox, uh, this would be something that would really help, help yeah. my friends out. Because I, I, I don't under, understand how people can't use Dropbox. But, you know. Yeah, like for some people, some people, if they, you know, having like a nothing to hide, it's not a big deal, like your picture. But um, if you have something more sensitive information, you need to have more... More protected, you need to have more uh, more encrypted mm-hmm. uh, software, and uh, that's why we come up with like we didn't have a plan only honestly to to launch the Ghost Drive um, like right now, but we getting like I getting so many uh, good feedbacks from from everybody, but people who I know around, and I give them software to play so they can install and see how how it's working. So like yeah. everybody, wow. You need to push it and make it public. I said, okay, I, uh, I'm currently like um, working on a white paper for Cost Drive, so describing like all features, uh, the concept, the technology standing behind, so people will be uh, have a better kind of knowledge, so they can read this white paper and have a better scope how we're trying to build. Everything. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, man, you guys got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. And yeah. that's why probably you're, you're a busy guy and you're always traveling. You got a million things that's happening. Do you get to see your family a bunch? Uh, you know, let's not, not really because like... Uh, <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> not, like uh, I want to finish that somehow start lunch at everything. I, I didn't see my son for two years because for I'm traveling. Three years. Two, two years. Two yeah. years. Yeah, and uh, like always talking the same over phone, but uh, oh, when man. you have uh, your kind of dream and you have so many people around you right now and um, you have to sacrifice something, right? First of all, to build something and then and then it's going to be family time. Yeah, 
Then you'll have a lot of family time. Exactly. Right? That's Laying on a beach and maybe not. I'm I like I'm workaholic. I I I get bored. So if I build like I'll finish all my tasks, I play in chess always. So if somebody wants to challenge me, I play. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm grandmaster in chess and play one out. minute wow. only. <laughs> so I can do 98 moves per minute. So. Um, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like my brain is kind of give me challenges always. So that's really? kind of I'm being trained, you know. <laughs> it's like to be unstoppable and uh, take the hardest task, hardest challenges, and f- find out wow. a solution. Yeah, that's exactly the opposite of what they train in California and in, in the high schools and stuff in schools. You know, <laughs> it's like take the easy way out. Let's let's not do anything hard. Yeah, like yeah. maybe it's a good pass, you know, so people can enjoy their life because they're well, not enjoying yeah, it right just, now. Like, they're just stupid, though. Yeah. I mean, they, they don't have any challenges. Their brain gets mushy. and Exactly. And then they get taken over by China and, and Ukraine. <laughs> yeah. And especially, you know, I become a cryptogolic. So that's a different kind of ball game. And you're yeah. watching all, like, uh, researching, like, new projects. Because you have to be, uh, you have to do it research that yeah. you have to know what exactly is happening who is building what yeah. and try to see what other people are trying to build so you need to, to find like a better solution it's always better way mm-hmm. and um, the more research you do the more time you can save for your development uh, process yeah yeah. So if people want to get a hold of you uh, to, to maybe advise them on their product mm-hmm. or their project, is that something that you'd be... Yeah, sure. Hearing? Like okay. I'm helping okay. a lot of projects. Oh, yeah? uh, okay. We're building a social platform on the blockchain. It's going to be launching this week. And we build, uh, it's called, uh, going to call one name that social. And it's going to be fully kind of Facebook, but much better. So you can track yeah. your best uh, coins. You can see what's going on with ICO. You're going to see um, what people are doing. It's going to be fully both system. You're going to get rewarded. So yeah, I help wow. this project and other other projects with their technology. So I'm always helping people yeah. and at least sharing my experience to make their product better as well. I hear Mark Zuckerberg may be looking for new jobs, so maybe. Uh, okay, it's good. No, I think it's <laughs> not going to pass our privacy test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to bring him into this. Yeah. Wow. Okay. But at least I will share the idea how, how he you, can you protect share it with it. Yeah, Say, hey, how he can Mark. protect the privacy. This is how you do it. Yeah. Like, use the Weisbit blockchain. Hey. <laughs> well, Mark, maybe you should, uh, should give these guys a call because you, you could use a few, few pointers on that. Man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's a good, you know, like um, a lot of it's a lot of criticism, but you need to also be uh, kind of um, give him respect because he kind of did something. And uh, right now they're gonna rebuild probably everything. Right now they're gonna try to make it better because they have so many issues and etc. But um, um, well, I, I, the moment like what what he, he what they built is kind of cool and unique at that time. Yeah, at, at the time. But I mean, if they're they're giving away people's information, that's not cool. But that's then, not cool at all. I, I, you know, they're they're blocking uh, crypto ads and everything like that on there, right? Exactly, because it's like that's that space is not regulated, so nobody kind of don't, don't have an answer to how you can advertise something. So let's say if they advertise the ICO, this ICO is a scam. So they kind of dealing with the problem. So I think it's a lot of, it's a lot of drama and uh, it's going to take some time to get regulated. It's going to happen sooner or later. Yeah. Uh, but, and they're building their own coin too, right? They're building uh, something, aren't they? Probably, they probably, maybe it's like a rumor, I don't know. Oh, it's a rumor. Probably. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, and then Twitter. I think is it, they will. I think they will soon, sooner or later. Yeah. Maybe next year. I don't know. Like I'm not tracking that because I don't have time. <laughs> you don't have time for that crap. For that crap, yeah. <laughs> because we have our own kind of um, yeah. own goal and own tasks that yeah. we're trying to accomplish, right. and then we're gonna help other people. You know. Right on. So okay, well, awesome. Well, I'm glad I got to talk with you. This has been a great, uh, great show, and. Man, uh, well, I hope you're going to be gone for a while, but you're going to come back, right? Yeah, yeah. We, like, right. I'm like, we're going to travel a lot, present like this device. And uh, right now, like our partner in Germany, Steven, so like uh, showing our device to Volkswagen. So we're trying to wow. show like other people in Europe, you know, because like Europe, they huge in the blockchain. They love blockchain. Yeah. They wants to regulate blockchains. They wants to 
push the governments so the government gonna use their platform on the blockchain yeah. to be super transparent so people As can they should see. Be. So it's so it's gonna happen. That why Bitcoin gonna be staying th- I think forever. So we'll see. Yeah. But we will see how that go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and thank you for your uh, for your time. And yeah, it's man. A pleasure to talk You're with awesome. you. Yeah, and, good. Uh, yeah. Good meeting you. Yeah, I think we can do next time uh, interview. So I'm gonna show you the device, so you can yes. play as a ghost driver. Yeah, you know, so. we're, eventually we're gonna get this where this is all video, and yeah, we're gonna yeah. be oh, we're, yeah, yeah, cameras sure. going, makeup artist for you. Yeah, it's gonna you know? be more fun. Yes, it's gonna yeah, be more fun. I can yeah. put some crazy people on Skype too, so we can yeah. do like a couple PhD professor. We can do kind of contests. Yeah. We can break it, you know. So okay. Can, yeah, yeah. That'd Why, be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be fun for sure. Right yeah. Cool. Yeah. But thank you so much for, right on. Uh, for, for that show. Yeah, man. Good.